hello guys we are back with our next lecture in this lecture let us go through the measures of a sign effectiveness okay so when does a sign has a value right so that is what we'll be discussing in this lecture so basically traffic signs should be installed by the government or by the authorities or by the law okay so only with their permissions only you need to place these signs there is no requirement that you can place near your house it's your property no you should be following the government rules you can place no parking that's fine but not any other signs okay yes so speed limit signs or any speed breaker signs those should not be kept so with the permission of the government or with by the authorities only it should be kept okay so traffic signs should be installed by the authority or law unofficial signs should not be permitted so there is no allow for the unauthorized or un accepted signs okay so signs should be put only after traffic engineer studies are carried out so basically traffic engineer study is nothing but he will be analyzing whether it is there is any need of this traffic sign or not okay so those things he will analyze and he will be saying whether to keep or not so based on that only we need to keep similarly excessive use of these traffic signs will is also an issue so assume that there are some speed breakers every 100 meters so instead of keeping it every 100 every 100 meters you are keeping 111 speed breaker sign so that's not good right so you can place a one and below you can write every one every 100 meters so it is easy right so in that way there is excessive requirement is not good so excessive signs usage is not at all good they should have high visibility during both the day and night so that is the reason why those are coated with radium guys so whenever the night time our Uh, headlights reflect there they will shine so that is the reason okay yes okay similarly size and the letters of the symbols should be also high so basically if it is no parking the parking should not be too small and strike should not cover it like that so basically they should be of a good font size okay yes so these are the basic requirements you can say guys so for any sign to be an useful okay yes so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the visual perception Okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching